What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of Hearthstone and the deck I'm going to be using is a variation of the Grim Patron Warrior decks that is made up by a really popular player named Kalento and he's considered by a lot of people to be one of the best players in the world because he's gotten rank one on EU, US, and Asia server all at the same time at one point. He didn't end up finishing the season with all those number ones, but yet he got it all simultaneously at a certain point. So let's go ahead and play this deck and see how it turns out. All right, we're searching for an opponent here. And man, I played this deck some in the past and it does really well, man. The uh, variation that I'm thinking about going to is one done by Zixo. If you are following the Hearthstone scene at all, you will know that Zixo is getting to be a very popular player because he is uh, doing really well in tournaments and stuff. Okay, right off the bat, we always want to keep the Fiery War Axe. No matter what, it doesn't matter what class you're playing against, you always want to keep the Fiery War Axe. Want to drop the Crim Patron, want to drop this as well, and we're going to go ahead and keep the Frothing Berserker, just so that we can deal with anything that comes up. And the Fiery War Axe should deal with most of what comes up, though. Alright, so he's going to pass turn here. And we are going to pass turn as well. I'm not going to use our coin because we might need it later on because uh, the key mana that we're wanting to be at is about 8 mana. So if we're at 7 mana and we happen to get our Warsong Commander and our Grim Patron, we can of course do our big combo a turn earlier. So let's go ahead and... Let's go and throw this down. This will allow us to where we can hit these uh, these dudes that he's dropping down here one at a time and we'll get armor for every single one of them. Of course he's going to try to deal with this. Yeah, as you can see. Alright, so it's obvious he's setting up for a quartermaster here. He's wanting to get his big play in. But, um, I don't think we're going to allow that. Alright, so, let's go ahead and Strike. hit here. Hit here. Get an axe. And we're not really doing too much uh, efficiency in uh, using our axe. We're using three damage onto a one damage uh, minion. But the thing is, is he's wanting to set up for the quartermaster. And I believe that's a five mana uh, creature. But we want to go ahead and start knocking this stuff down as early as we can. Because we do not have our death spite axe and we do not have our whirlwind. So, Alright, setting up a consecrate. Alright, getting plenty of uh, armor there. Okay, there goes the first bit of our combo right now. So, if we go ahead and keep whittling down these creatures, we will be doing a good job. Alright, let's see what we draw. Alright, seems good. We're going to go ahead and knock that out because we've got a second Fiery War Axe. And also, we don't want him to be able to pull off a very good Quartermaster combo. Whether he summons a minion or anything else like that and sets it up. Alright. That's fine. That was a creature that is pretty much fodder anyway. It's mainly just for card draw. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um... No, we want to go ahead and throw this down. Alright, we're going past turn at that because we don't have another weapon. We don't really want to start using charges of this unneeded. We want to make sure that we're setting up good combos. Alright, so he had another Hammer of Wrath. Good for him, good for him. Alright. So now we got two Warsong Commanders. Now we can really start uh, 
thinking about what kind of combos we're wanting to do here. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this down. Throw this down. Use up this. And go ahead and start charging in. Normally we want a little bit bigger of a creature with that because we want to set up a pretty good combo. But I'm not having any of my AoE uh, land into my hand right now. None of the Despite or Whirlwind that I need. So... But the th but then again, we're kind of setting up for the Grim Patron combo, and I haven't drawn the Grim Patron yet, so. Alright. So. He's wanting to go ahead and, of course, take out one of my creatures here with that, but I think we are just going to set up with this. And then, um, go ahead and throw down our armor smith. Get charges on all of this. So, let's go ahead and charge in, put up some armor, and we're going to hold off. Don't really want to use our axe charge because it's not really needed at this point. We might need it in a minute. See, that's forcing him to have to use this creature to hit my taunt. Which, of course, is building up my armor and also building up my Frothing Berserker. So, let's see what he's got. He's got several cards in his hand. Seven? No, eight. So, he's got a lot of possibility to do a lot of things here. Let's see what he pulls out, though. Come on, man. I know he drawn. Okay. Something needs tinkering. All right. So he's setting that up. Sounds good. Sounds good. Move quickly. We're gonna have a huge frothing berserker if he doesn't do. It. Oh, okay. All right. So there you go. That was a mistake. <laughs> All right. So. Of course our stuff is going to die here. That's just the way it is. Okay, so... We are going to... What now? Uh, let's see here. Okay. We're going to throw down this. Because basically we're wanting to get the charge here. Let's go ahead and hit here. Let's hit here. Let's hit here. And let's hit here. All right, there we go. Turned out to be a pretty good move there. Built up our Frothing Berserker quite a bit. But if he does something to kill my Unstable Ghoul now, of course it's going to kill my uh, Frothing Berserker. But we still got our combo uh, first piece in our hand with the Warsong Commander. So if I draw a Grim Patron, he's going to be in a lot of trouble coming up. If he can even deal with this. He's got to be able to kill that Unstable ghoul because that uh, frothing berserker is just going to put a whipping on him if he doesn't have a consecrate or something let me think next turn i'll have plenty of mana if i need to uh use my battle rage for just uh, a two card draw i think he's done giving up though Come on, Fizzy Elf. You can do it, man. Don't give up. Ah! <laughs> Alright, guys. Man, this Grim Patron deck is the absolute best deck in the game right now. So if you guys have not tried it out, be sure to try it out. This is Kalento's creation of it. He might have made some modifications since then. I'm not real sure, but uh, whenever I checked out his guide on it, this is what he had. 
And uh, another one that I'm probably going to try out pretty soon is Zixo's deck because that guy is just, he's running over everybody and I think he's rank one in EU right now. So yeah, he's the number one player in all of EU at the moment. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you like these Hearthstone videos, make sure to give a thumbs up and let me know about it. And leave any comments that you would like if you'd like to see a particular deck. Uh, I've got a lot of different decks that I've been uh, running lately, such as Face Hunter. I've even got Murloc Warlocks. I've got, of course, the best deck in the game, which is the Grim Patron. Um, yeah, if you guys want to see anything in particular, just let me know, and I will be glad to make the content. As usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.